Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Tech Guns tutorial series. Oh, I gotta tell you, I've had quite a roller coaster tonight trying to record this. The blue snowball microphone got like kicked out of my of windows. It wasn't working, and then I got it working, but then it still wasn't working. But now it is working again. I don't know what the heck happened. It scared me to death. I don't have the money to replace a microphone. Anyway, let's get into <laughs> the Tech Guns tutorial for today. So. I told you in the last episode we were going to talk about a powered armor. Now, it's not the power armor because you need to you need the fabricator for that, and so we're going to have to talk about that in its own video. Uh, but the power uh, armor we're talking about today is the steam armor. It's the first and cheapest powered armor that you can get in tech guns. It only requires steel and bronze and compressed air tanks to run. Which is really, really nice. So, quite cheap and uh, you know, easy to get your hands on. Not too much fuss. Um, then we're also going to talk about the advanced combat armor, which you need uh, a, a bit higher tech to get. And it's a bit more expensive. Well, quite a bit more expensive because you need diamonds and blaze powder. And then we'll talk we'll, we'll talk about that after the, uh, the steam armor. So, let's get right into this and take a look at it. So, in order to craft the steam armor, you're going to need this stuff, which are steam armor plates. Okay, now in order to get steam armor plates, we come over here to a metal press, okay? So you're going to have to get your hands on steel and bronze. Now to get your hands on bronze, you need a different mod, so you're not going to be able to make it using just tech guns. You need to use like, maybe an arc furnace from immersive engineering, or you need to cast it, uh, uh, smelt it using Tinker's Construct, or use an alloy smelter. Any, any other mod that will let you make bronze, that's what you need in order to get the steam armor. Then, you need to take two steel ingots and put it into the press in order to get yourself some steel plates. Boom, there they are. You're also going to need to do uh, bronze ingots as well to get yourself some bronze plates. Boom. I like the metal press a lot. Then, take your bronze plates and place them in with a steel plate. One bronze plate, one steel plate. And that will crush it into one steam armor plating. So you need twice as many steel and basically you need the same amount of both steel and bronze to get the steam armor. So while you're taking two plates and putting them together, you're only getting one plate in return. So you are going to use a lot of bronze and a lot of steel. Okay, once you have yourself steam armor plates, actually let's get some more. At least one more. So we can actually craft, uh, show you how to craft one of these. So the steam armor uses the standard recipes for armor. Just use the steam armor plates like so and you can get the steam boots. All right. Do the same for all the other um, shapes. So that like that for the helmet, like this for the legs, like that for the chest. And you got yourself some steam armor. So let me throw it on. Now the steam armor, oh, the helmet's clipping through my avatar's hair. That's, but that, uh, you know, that's something we can't really help. The steam armor requires power in the form of compressed air tanks. Uh, if you, if we look, if I go into um, survival mode, and let's eat some food here, so our health can start regenerating. Um, if I go into the a ammo inventory, the inventory tab for tech guns, uh, I have some compressed air tanks here. I have four of them. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see a percent readout of the amount of power left in the armor and how many air tanks I currently have. So I've got 88% uh, compressed air in here and I've got four tanks. Each tank will fill it up all the way and uh, I don't know if just running around with the armor on, yep, just running around with the armor on does drain it. So you are gonna be using compressed air all the time, but compressed air is really easy to get. Remember it's just water and coal in a uh, in the chemical lab and uh, and it fills it right up so very cheap um, so very nice there so don't worry about the compressed air it's really cheap to get now if we look at our health at the bottom left you'll see that we've got a bit of a uh, different color on our hearts we've got two and a half orange hearts that's because the steam armor gives you extra health 
which is quite nice. So the helmet gives you one heart, the chest plate two, the legs one, and the steam boots one. Now, that's not as many as we don't have that many. It's averaged down. I don't know how it works, but we have two and a half hearts, whereas this says we should have two, three, four, five. We have two and a half, so we have about half as many hearts as it kind of says we should. I don't know why, but, uh, you know, that's what we get. Unless it's counting it as half of a heart, so every half a heart is one heart. So I'm not really sure how that works. That, that might be it, and I'm just dumb. But uh, anyway, we got some extra health there, which is cool. Now the steam armor also has some other uh, effects. All the pieces give you additional mining speed, so only 5%, but, you know, it's a little something. So if you're going mining, the steam engine, the steam plate, the steam armor might be a good choice if you want the protection, but also a little bit of mining speed boost. Um, you know, better better than wearing, uh, um, you know, combat armor because you don't get that boost if you're going to go mining. But the boots are where it's at. The boots give you a, give us a lot of stuff here. Now you can't just use the boots. You need to use the steam chest plate because the chest plate is the one that actually takes the air tanks and generates the power and then shares it to the boots. So you can't just make the boots. You do have to have the, the chest plate, uh, as far as I know. Now, the boots give us a reduction in fall damage by 20% and a reduction in fall height by 1. Uh, and they all give us knockback resistance and it also gives you step assist. So we can walk up blocks without needing to jump. Alright. Now this is in 1.7.10. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can just do this normally in the latest versions of Minecraft. But there you go, step assist. You can also jump higher, and it makes a really awesome sound effect. We, can, we can't jump three blocks high, like that is. However, we can go ahead and jump two blocks. So you can jump two blocks using the, uh, wearing the steam armor, which is quite nice. Now as far as defenses go, the steam armor has a total of 20 physical and projectile defense. 18 explosion, 16 energy, 18 fire, 16 ice and lightning, 10 poison, and 6 radiation. So it's pretty nice. It's actually pretty nice. Um, one interesting thing about this bonus health, yeah, I don't know if it's if it's meant to be this way or not, but when we take the armor off, we actually keep the bonus health. Uh, at least until we lose it. Which is pretty neat, actually. So you can get yourself some bonus health, take it off, and you'll still have the bonus health. <laughs> kind of funny. So that is the steam armor. I'm going to put it back on, and we're going to use this awesome... Uh, now, I, I forgot to explain this. This We're in a different setting because uh, Shiva has made me like a little lightweight tech guns pack with just this te tech guns and a couple of other mods. And uh, he went ahead, and, so that it would load faster and stuff, he went ahead and made me a zombie factory as well so we can get all the zombies that we need. Uh, now, let's go, and we have to make it nighttime because zombies won't spawn during the day. We'll flip the lever on and then right back off because they spawn really fast. We've got a bunch of zombies in, in there now. And then the conveyors pull them through this little tunnel and uh, dump them into this little hole. I actually already had some in here. I forgot about that. Now we've got more zombies in here. And uh, that might have been getting annoying earlier. Anyway, if I jump down here and they start attacking me, you can see that even with all these zombies punching me, they're really not doing very much damage. It's taking them a long time to hurt me long time. So the steam armor, quite quite nice. Let's go ahead and make it uh, daytime again. Hopefully those zombie s sounds weren't... Oh, come on. Well, let's get ourselves a gun and deal with this guy. That was the infiltrator. Okay. So, that's the steam armor. Very nice. I like that it gives you extra health. And some jumpiness and stuff. Now, the advanced combat armor is a different beast entirely. It doesn't require power like the steam armor does. However, it's quite a bit more expensive. In order to craft yourself some advanced combat armor, you're going to need a chemical laboratory. We gotta make carbon fiber. Alright? Here's some carbon fibers. And we also need carbon plates. In order to make carbon fiber, get yourself a chem lab and fill it with lava, put diamonds in it, and blaze powder. It's going to use one diamond and one blaze powder to produce two carbon fibers. And you're going to need a lot of these. If you're going to make this. So you got to get a lot of diamonds in order to uh, make this uh, ca the carbon fiber things. 
Now, you don't just need carbon fibers, you also need these carbon plates, and you get that by putting two carbon fibers in a metal press. And thankfully, you do get two carbon plates. It's not that expensive. It's not like you get one plate for two fibers, which would make this suit really expensive. So in order to make this, you need, there's a couple of different recipes. For the boots, you put carbon fiber on top of carbon plates. There's the boots. For the legs, I think it's like so. There you go. Four carbon plates and three carbon fibers. For the helmet, it is three carbon plates and then two carbon fibers. And for the armor itself, nope, that's not how you do it. Oh, it's the other way around. Like that. Six, seven carbon plates, two carbon fibers for the chest plate. So let's take a look at this, shall we? It looks really cool. It has 3300 durability each piece compared to uh, 2700, or I mean 2750 of the steam armor because it's been punched up a bit by zombies. So more durable. You also get actually more armor. If we go back into our uh, game mode zero, let me just eat some food. And we go in here. Our physical and projectile are both 22 and all the, uh, the other elemental ones are 18. Poison is 10, radiation is six. So it's actually a bit more protective than the steam armor but it doesn't have as many bonuses and you don't get any free health. So the advanced combat armor has move speed and knockback resistance on all of its parts. Uh, you don't get any um, jump a boost, you don't get fall damage reduction, uh, you certainly don't get step assist, but you do get all this move speed. So the, the advanced combat armor is faster than the steam armor. Steam armor doesn't give you any move speed. So if we now fall into the zombie pit, they're having to hit me even more. As you can see, they're really not dealing much damage, these guys. Look at this. They're doing nothing. They're really doing nothing. It's taking them a long time. Let's get away from there. Nope, back to zero. It really took them a long time to beat me up. So yeah, now in order to repair this stuff, obviously we're talking about the repair bench. In order to repair the steam armor, you just need more steam armor plates. This is going to be expensive to repair because you need carbon fibers. But at the same time, you're not going to have to repair it for a very long time because it's got a lot of durability. So that's that. Two, two more armors to add to your uh, tech guns arsenal. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, in the next episode, we will talk about the fabricator so we can get that out of the way. That's a bit of progression for later on. There's plenty of stuff that you don't need that for yet. So in the next episode, uh, if the fabricator talk doesn't take the whole episode, uh, we'll get you know a, a few more things in. Um, but we'll get through everything eventually. Don't worry about that. There's plenty of fun guns to talk about. And uh, yeah, have a good, we'll have a good time doing it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Join our Discord with the link in the description if you're interested. Don't forget to like and comment the video if you enjoyed it. I, I like to hear from you. And uh, likes help me know that, you know, you guys like the, the content. And uh, put any suggestions in, in, the, in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for future videos. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.